Is it hard to add molding in Blender? The answer is no, rather actually quite easy. See if we have this mesh and want to add some molding inside, we just need two things, a curve and a mold profile, which you can either draw in Blender or get it online where you can find many of those. For molding profile from the web, you can look for DXF files to import them directly in Blender, or for more various results, search for CAD files and switch them to DXF with online converters. The import menu in Blender won't have the DXF format by default, so head to the add-ons in the properties and enable the DXF file importer. Now we can get the file we need, or the one we downloaded in Blender, delete the parts that comes with it beside the profile like the name or the frame, and put it on the side. Make sure the profile origin is on the needed area, and it's fixed here, so we don't need to change anything. Now for the mold path or the main curve, we can select any room, maybe go with this one on the corner, highlight the ring edge on top by holding control and selecting each part of it, then with shift D, make a copy of it, and finally hit P to separate this edge from the main mesh. This new shape we have is still a mesh, so name it if you want, and convert it to curve to get the profile settings. In the curves geometry tab, under Bevel, go for the Object option and pick the mold profile we imported as the object using the picker or from the list. This is huge. That's what she said. <laughs> we need to scale it down a bit. Most the adjustment you do is on the profile, so make it fit the walls you have. It seems fitting, but the shades on it is shifting on some parts, like this one. And that's because we have an extra vertex here which can make it look shady. So hold control with X to delete it and clean the remaining walls in the same way. Now let's import another profile and we will use another space to add molding to it using the new shape. The profile origin is assigned to geometry. This won't work with us. We need to move it to the needed corner on the profile which is the one on the bottom right, so hold shift, and with the right mouse button, move the cursor there, then set the origin to cursor. For the curve, I will select this area, the upper edge ring of it, copy it with shift D, then separate it from the main mesh, clean any extra dots on the shape to not end up with weird shadings on the mold, and convert it to curve, just like we did before. Once you're done making the curve, go to the bevel object in the curve geometry and select the profile. Two things to do here, scaling down the profile to fit, and that's in object mode, but also we need to rearrange its sweep, cause now it's sweeping on this long edge, and we need it to go on the short one along the wall, so those fixes are done in edit mode for the profile curve. To rotate the profile around its origin in edit mode, you can use the Pivot Transforms option. The cursor one or the active can help you in different cases, then rotate the profile around to get the result you need. Like here, I need to rotate it around the Z by 90. That will make it right. But the straight part should be at top. So a mirror on the Y should fix it to us. This way, we end up with it on the wall, fine and shine. And that's it. Quite easy once you get the feeling of it, so do it once or twice, and you should be fine with moldings from now on. See you next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.